from complexity uh, perspective here does it make sense to uh, make both modules in the same uh, uh, module to eliminate uh, dependency but this may um, lead to more complex while managing these uh, these modules i i i uh, I think it can be more complex to separate them because now we have two independent modules that need to be composed at some point, right? Okay. So what do you mean by complexity in this case? Complexity, I mean, uh, I uh, need to manage two different things in the same module. Um, so not a clear separation and things getting out of hand. Is this what you mean? Yes. And also taking consideration that maybe I need to uh, reuse one of these features in another project. Yeah, in this yeah. case, you will separate them. You know, <laughs> exactly. if you need if to, that's, that's why it depends on the case. If you need to separate them, and I want to be able to show lists of events without actually loading the event types. Fantastic. Then that's you separate it. them. Yes. Yeah. Maybe I need to show all events, not for not just for specific event type. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In that case, then you can separate them and. One application has this filter and the other application doesn't. Thus, it makes sense to separate these features. And then you, when you compose different applications, you only bring exactly the modules you need. But if you put everything in one module, every application, even if it doesn't want the event list type, it still needs to bring it because it's in the same. Then you need to bring all the source code, even if you don't need it. That's a point. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why it depends. It depends on. What you're trying to achieve depend how you're going to reuse this depend on the team structure on the project structure yeah so uh, uh, we can assume that this is the case here and based on the solution that i followed in, in the code i try to uh, eliminate this uh, this dependency uh, as i as i uh, assume it it's already a dependency mm -hmm. so how i can uh, uh, Put my solution uh, back on the track and and, and make it uh, and correct it to to uh, meet this requirement now. So here I have two different modules. I will assume I need to uh, use mm -hmm. reuse uh, one of them in another application, and I stuck in uh, 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 decoupling these two modules. Even if uh, even w w when I uh, uh, move. Uh, this dependency into uh, a composition layer. Uh, so, so one thing, if you want to decouple, if you want to have two modules, right? Let's say the requirement is to have these two modules and you want them to be decoupled. So you can use them independently in different applications. So you shouldn't depend on any type of the other modules. This should not happen, right? One way of doing it is to use the more primitive types in the entry point of your modules. And inside of this module here, you can even have your own event type definition. Yes. Maybe exactly. it has only name in this case because you don't need the ID. So you have different types because different modules have different requirements. And you define here the modules exactly what you need. So maybe if you want to have an event type here, you can, but it should not be the same defining the event types module. You need to redefine it with the interface you want. In this case, it's just a name. And maybe you have a composition, as you said, you have an application at some point that will compose these two modules, right? You can have application one and another application, application two. Let's say application two, application, it wants only the list and we show all the events with all the filters. So it only depends on this module. It doesn't need to know anything about types, but application one will compose both of them. So what the application one needs to do is when it gets a list of types and present on the screen, and then it's time to load the other one, it needs to convert one event type into the other. So in this application here, you will have some kind of adapter that will adapt one module to the other. They will convert event type into the event listing event type. There must be some kind of conversion here. So we have a tiny adapter here in the application target to make sure that these two modules can work together, even though they don't know about each other. Okay, so, this, so adapter this, will this adapter convert. will be in composition uh, module, right? Yes. 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 Okay. So or in a separate module because it cannot be in here or in here otherwise it will couple the modules again so it either goes on its own module or in the application module usually it goes in the application module because it's simpler you don't need to create even another module and then application two just talks directly to this feature here and loads all the 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 types all the events without filter just one thing here it's important to understand that the the two event types 
event type on the purple module and on the orange one, they, they don't have to mirror each other, right? The event type in the orange module just contains whatever the orange module needs, right? You can even call it event type name, for example, the, the name of the type, just to demonstrate better here the, the needs. Does have a different sense? name, different properties, different everything. Exactly. They are completely separated. They have, like, it's just, it happens that they have the same name. They had the same name before. This is key to understand here.